Some of the tech bloggers mentioned that these little propellers on the Spark aren't really going to hurt you. So I'm going to try to conduct a couple tests to see if they will, without bloodying myself, of course. But last night, my finger got close to one. It got just touched, and I felt quite a sharp hit. And I have a feeling if it hit my finger solidly, uh, there would have been a lot of blood. So uh, I'll see if I can test this out using some food, and at least we can get an idea of uh, why you should use prop guards. I'm not sure if you can call a, a carrot the same as a finger, but you can see that we have cut down pretty solidly into that carrot. Let's try it again and let's try it with some other things. test we're gonna use the same carrot but I've cut the other part off so we're into a thicker part of the carrot and maybe we'll try a little bit of mozzarella cheese here and I'm gonna try to use the rear propellers because apparently some carrot got all over the camera lens so we'll try these two foods and I think they do accurately uh, portray parts of the human body for instance a finger and perhaps an eye Well, that was quite a rough test. Now I've sacrificed a good bit of mozzarella. I'll rinse it off and pop it in my mouth too, but if it was an eyeball, it would be at least a quarter gone. Um, that thing can slice, it's sharp. So uh, the moral of the story here is please use prop guards for your indoor flights, for your gesture, your palm launch control, and for any close-in flights, you'll get a little bit shorter of a flight time, but it's worth it. I am not taking those off, at least until I have an RC controller where I have full control over the unit.